Meet Dara, the hairy-nosed otter. He's curious and full of life, and on the lookout for the perfect soulmate. But that won't be easy even for this little charmer. <laughs> this particular species of otter is very rare um, and hardly ever seen in the wild. It was actually thought to be extinct. Dara is the first and only member of a new wildlife conservation program in Cambodia, a country more used to seeing Dara and his kin like this, as fur pelts sold on the black market for $150 a skin. Huge demand for otter fur in places like China led conservationists to believe the last hairy-nosed otter died in the 1990s. That is, until rangers like these who patrol this lake rescued Dara from a fisherman who was keeping the two-year-old animal as a pet here. This is the Tonle Sap, one of the biggest freshwater lakes in Asia and a key habitat for otters, including the hairy-nosed otter. The otters live in these flooded forests, but conservationists say that it's becoming difficult for these animals to survive here because of deforestation and overfishing. Here, fishermen cast their nets and occasionally spot or snare otters like Dara in this rapidly changing landscape. There is not much habitat left like this. Um, freshwater habitats and coastal habitats like mangroves, um, Milaluka forest, which is all habitat for, for otters, is being cleared very fast for turning into rice paddy fields or fish um, and, and shrimp farming. So conservationists are fighting to turn these waterways into an otter sanctuary. They're enlisting the help of local rangers to report illegal nets and are training up a national team of biology students and villagers like Soon Sarun, who protect the otters. Soon is helping these aspiring conservationists to identify and track the animals and record their behavior. For part of the day, he trades in his fishing nets for a compass and GPS. I want to be a role model in my community, he says. If other hairy-nosed otters are rescued, at least one of them, a female, will be brought to this zoo outside the capital of Phnom Penh. Here she'll join Dara and be bred in captivity, a first for this type of otter. Dara had been blessed by Buddhist monks and given his name, which in the Cambodian language means precious. It's fitting that we call him that, says this government official fitting because he could help repopulate the world with a species teetering on the brink of extinction. Eunice Yoon at Tonle Sap Lake, Cambodia.